Hey my Pokey peeps, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to be ranking our favourite Pokemon of each type for Generation 2. So without further ado, let's get started. For me, Generation 2 never really got fully recognised until Heart Gold and Soul Silver made its way into the format. After which I played countless hours and finished the game multiple times using a variety of different teams, trying out Pokemon that I had hardly used in the past and really have found a great love for. So, let's get started with our favorite grass type of Generation 2. Mine is by all means, Blossom. It's such a cute Pokemon, an amazing design, and now with the addition of Quiver Dance is actually pretty strong, so I definitely want Blossom to be my number one grass Pokemon from Generation 2. Second, we've got our Fire Pokemon. I don't know if anyone's seen, but I did do a video a while back with a Mega Houndoom and that thing hits like a truck and is so, so, so powerful, definitely making its way onto our list. Water type Pokemon are by far one of my favorite typings in all Pokemon games. For me though, Feraligator is my favorite Generation 2 water Pokemon. Its design's amazing, its viability competitively is amazing, its movesets are fantastic, it's an all-around amazing Pokemon and I love it so much. For me, picking a favourite normal type Pokemon was not easy at all. However, the spot has to go to Blissey, which is my favourite normal type of Generation 2 purely because of nostalgia. At the time, Eevee and Ivy training was just becoming a thing, so my brother and I chose Blissey and thought, let's give it a shot with one of the coolest Pokemon we could think of at the time. So nostalgia wins out and makes Blissey my favorite normal Pokemon from Generation 2. Picking a favorite electric Pokemon is a little bit harder in Generation 2. There aren't that many that I really enjoy. My favorite would be Raikou. However, because it's a legendary and I'm trying to keep them off the list, I'll go with my second favorite, being my first non-legendary favorite, which is Lantern. I really like its design and the whole based on an anglerfish really resonates with me. I love water Pokemon as well, so definitely an awesome Pokemon there. Really love it. Psychic Pokemon have always played a big part in my life. I've always loved them, really like the designs, and like the sort of mental side of psychic Pokemon. For me, I'm going to be picking Espeon. I've always had a fairly good connection with Espeon. Going back to the days of Colosseum, where you get Espeon and Umbreon to start the game, which was an awesome way to showcase two new Pokemon that weren't really seeing too much light. But I really love Espeon, and Nostalgia again just makes it so important in my life, and it has to be my favorite psychic of Generation 2. In Generation 2, there weren't very many fighting type Pokemon, but for me, one stood out amongst the rest, and that was Tyogre. Or Tyrogue? Tyrogue, sorry. I really like it, it's a cute design, it's been in the game all the way through until even now, it's in Generation 8. So it's definitely a popular Pokemon with multiple people. So definitely love it, think it's a cool design and on my list for that reason. Rock Pokemon are a little bit hard to come by as well in Generation 2. One though that stands out amongst the rest is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Tyranitar. I remember playing through Heart Gold and thinking, where was this Pokemon that I had heard so much about? So I hunted and I hunted until I finally found a little avatar and could not wait to evolve it into Tyranitar of my very own. That's why Tyranitar is on this list. There are a number of factors that come into picking which Pokemon I love and I really enjoy playing with. The overall look and aesthetic of the Pokemon is one, but its viability and competitive sense is another. One Pokemon in Generation 2 that really nailed both is Donphan. Donphan has one of my favorite designs of all time. I love elephants and I think they did a really good job adding in that armor element as well as keeping the sort of general elephant vibe really healthy and quite cool. So Donphan is on my list as my favorite ground. While I was planning out this list, one Pokemon that really I was struggling to put into a category 
is actually Gligar. I was going to have it as my number one ground type Pokemon, however, it didn't quite fit in with what I wanted to do, and I couldn't find another flying type that I liked quite as much as Gligar. So, Donphan and Gligar both could have been sort of the ground type, but Gligar takes our flying type nonetheless. While playing through Heart Gold for the second time, I used a team of completely, I had thought, useless Pokemon. Now, a lot of which I use in a lot of competitive teams because I think it's a great Pokemon, so much viability and so much diversity in terms of moves. One of those Pokemon that I was using was Ariadux. I love the spider theme, I love its typing, and it gets some pretty cool moves as well as the ability Sniper. So for me, Ariados definitely had to be on this list and is why it's my number one favorite. And is why it's my number one bug type Pokemon for generation two. As I said previously, water type Pokemon definitely play a big part of my life and I do love them so much. A Pokemon that combine two fairly cool types Water being one of them and poison another is Quillfish. Quillfish has an awesome design, it's a really viable Pokemon, such a great moveset and can be used in so many different ways, definitely had to be in my list. When I was trying to pick my favourite flying type, I really couldn't help but go past Murkrow. And when looking through the dark type Pokemon available, I really didn't see any that I resonated with quite as much as I do with Murkrow. I've used Murkrow in a number of teams, with the addition of Prankster it's really become a fun Pokemon to use. So many strategies, so many cool things that you can do with it, definitely had to be on the list. In Generation 2 there was only one Ghost type Pokemon, which was, not Miss Matthews, which was Mischievous. So definitely didn't really have a choice in there. I do like Mischievous design, I do wish it was a little bit more scary. Maybe a slightly darker teal or slightly darker purple would have given me that feel, but I do like its overall design and I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Yet again, I had another fairly difficult choice between a dark Pokemon and a nice type Pokemon and I managed to find a spot for Sneasel on this list. I really love Sneasel's design, I think it's epic. I really like quick Pokemon, using them viably in competitive, Speed is a huge element, so it's very cool there. And I do enjoy its evolution, Weavile, as well. One of my favorite Pokemon from every generation combined is Weevil. I really do like its design, and I can't get enough of the little guy. Plus, it's got an epic shiny, being pink and yellow. So, definitely one of my favorites. Picking a Steel-type Pokemon was actually one of the hardest choices I had to make. I really do like a lot of the Steel-type Pokemon in Generation 2. You've got your Fortress, Steelix, Skarmory, but it definitely had to go to Skizor. Definitely one of the best designed Pokemon all over the generations. I love how strong and powerful it looks, intimidating, a huge threat in any team. I love it so much. In Generation 2, there weren't too many Dragon types to go by. Even after the addition of Megas, it's only Ampharos and Kingdra. However, I do really like Kingdra's design, its abilities, Swift Swim, super competitively viable, and makes it one of my favourite dragons in Generation 2. Last but certainly not least is the Fairy category. Now I know I've said that I like water type Pokemon, and you'll probably see from the overall image that water types mean a lot to me. So it wouldn't be fair if I didn't include one of my favourites of all time, Azumarill to this list. Thankfully becoming a fairy type and getting a little bit more, more move diversity. As you can see guys, my final list looks a bit different to yours I'm sure, but these are my top favorites of each type for generation 2. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video guys! Hopefully you enjoyed today's video guys. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content. I am trying to upload more regularly and I really do appreciate your opinions and feedback. It really helps me grow and change as a creator. So thank you very much for all your support so far. Anyways, 